Hi guys, got another build for you here. This time we're doing a build for the Witch Doctor in Diablo 3 and this one will give you a good Inferno levelling build. If you've got to Inferno and you're having trouble with the Witch Doctor, this build should help. Now obviously it's all down to um, you know the way you play and by this time in the game you've got a good idea of how to play your class. So it's not going to work for everyone, but if you are having trouble and struggling with Inferno, give this one a go and um, yeah, see what you think. I will say though, um, someone came up with a good point. I was posting these builds; they do help. But the other thing that really helps is that you need to have the right gear. You need to have good equipment if you're going to take on Inferno. So that's um, I will do some more builds or more vid videos with the builds that actually show you some good armour sets and weapons for all of the classes that should help you out. But for now, assuming that you've got good gear, um, this build should help you with Inferno for the Witch Doctor. So I'll just load on the skills. For your primary skill, we're going to go for Poison Dart. Shoot a deadly Poison Dart that deals 100% weapon damage is Poison. An additional and an additional 40% weapon damage is poison over two seconds. And then if you have, um, if you put splinters with that, shoot three poison darts that deal 60% weapon damage as poison each. For your secondary skill, you want to go for grasp of the dead. Ghoulish hands reach out from the ground, slowing enemy movement by 60% and dealing 20% weapon damage as physical for eight seconds. One of the main things I've found in Inferno with most of the classes, even Barbarian, even like the me melee classes, is you need to be able to slow down the onslaught because it's very quickly, uh, you get overwhelmed so quickly. So, yeah, we have that as the secondary, and then you want to go for um, Groping Eels, but increases the damage done to 26% weapon damage as physical. Now for your defensive skill, what we're going to go for there is summon zombie dogs. Summon three zombie dogs from the depths to fight by your side. Each dog deals 9% of your weapon damage is physical per hit. And then if we go for burning dogs, your zombie dogs burst into flames burning nearby enemies for 2% of your weapon damage as fire. Now moving across to the terror slot, we're going to have um, we're actually going to put a voodoo skill here, big bad voodoo. Conjure a fetish that begins a ritual dance that increases the attack speed and movement speed of all nearby allies by 20% for 20 seconds. Okay, and we want to go for jungle drums with that. Um, increases the duration of the ritual to 30 seconds. Now, we're going to do the decay slot. What you want to do with decay is acid cloud. Cause acid to rain down, devastating an initial 100% weapon damage as poison, followed by 70% weapon damage as poison over 3 seconds to enemies who remain in the area. Um, for the uh, skill room, we're going to go for lob blob bomb. Um, the acid on the ground forms into a slime that it, it eradicates nearby enemies for 25% weapon damage as poison. The slime dissipates after 5 seconds. Okay, for our actual voodoo slot, we're going to go for a good gargantuan. Summon a gargantuan zombie to fight for you. The gargantuan attacks for 25% of your weapon damage as physical. And you want to go for big stinker. The gargantuan is surrounded by a poison cloud that deals 15% weapon damage of poison per second to nearby enemies. Okay, and um, right, your passives that we're going to go for are pierce the veil. All of your damage is increased by 20%, but your mana costs are increased by 30. Um, you want to go for fetish psychophants. Whenever you cast a physical realm spell, you have a 3% chance to summon a dagger-wielding fetish to fight by your side for 60 seconds. When you, when you do this, what you also want to do is 
pair it up with Big Bad Voodoo because it will increase the speed of these fetish psychophants as well. And um, your final one that we want to go for is Grave Injustice. Whenever an enemy dies within 8 yards, regain, you regain 1% of your maximum life and mana and the cooldown on all your abilities is reduced by 1 second. So that will get rid of the, um, the, the downsides of the first passive. Okay, so that's a decent Inferno build. Basically, it's focused on AoE and keeping distance, which is what you want to do in Inferno. You don't want to get caught up um, in the middle of a fight because it very quickly, the mobs just surround you and it, the damage you take is too much. You've got Grasp of the Dead that keeps mobs um, contained. And you've got Zombie Dogs and Gargantuan. Um, basically, they use their own AoE to, to inflict damage. You've got Acid Cloud, which is um, you can cast on mobs that are trapped in G.O.D. And you've got some passive talents to boost your damage and then sort of get rid of the cost of some of the passives as well. So, um, yeah, use that. Very good distance build, stay out of trouble. And let me know what you think and uh, try it in Inferno. Okay, guys, cheers.